Hey there, John Morris here. I'm a developer here at Wishlist Products and a blogger over at johnmorrisonline.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete a membership level using the Wishlist Member API. And of course, as always, I'm going to show you both the internal and external methods for doing that. And again, as I always do, I'll go ahead and cover a little bit of the setup. So let's go ahead and do that now. Again, if you're familiar with the Wishlist Member API, normally you would need to include the WM API class.php file in order to have access to the methods within that class. However, the latest versions of Wishlist Member have that already included, so you'll notice I haven't done that here. Again, if you're working in a theme functions file or a plugin that um, already has Wishlist Member installed on it, then you'll have access to those as well. So you don't need to uh, include that file. Really the only time you would need to is if you're running a fairly old version of Wishlist Member or you're connecting to um, uh, a site outside of WordPress and outside of Wishlist Member. That's usually the only two times that you'll need that class. So you can see here I'm just instantiating the, a new instance of that class. So uh, again I have access to all those methods. All right, so that's a little bit about the setup. And actually, also here I have the API URL and API key. You can see that I have those defined as constants. It's because this does connect to an actual site, so uh, I obviously don't want to split display those here. Uh, so those are just set as constants further up in this file. All right, so of course with you, you would just go ahead and put in your API URL and your API key. Um, so that's primarily for demo purposes that I did that. All right, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the external method for um, deleting a level. So again, the first thing I do is I instantiate a new instance of the WM API class. I pass in my API URL and my API key. I set the return format to PHP. And here I'm getting a list of levels. So we're going to actually show those uh, levels. We're getting that before we delete the, our, our specified level so that you can see that the level did exist and then we're, we're going to go ahead and delete it and our response should be the new list of levels without um, that level in it All right so um, that's why I'm getting this here this actually doesn't have anything to do with the delete that's more just for uh, demo purposes and then I'm printing it down here alright so here I'm putting in the level ID this is the ID of the level I want to delete Again, you can do that manually, or you could do it somehow programmatically um, based off having already got a list of levels or you know, however that might come about. Uh, again, here I'm just putting it manually. And then this is our actual request. So we're using the uh, delete method from the API. We're accessing the levels resource and slash level ID. So again, this is essentially level slash level ID as the resource. So that's how we get that specific uh, membership level. And again, like I said, we're doing the delete method. So we're just going to delete it. And then here is our response from that request. Down here, we're printing levels before we deleted uh, the level. And here we're uh, printing out the, the uh, response from the API after we've deleted the level. All right, so let's go ahead to our site and let's refresh this page and we'll take a look and see what we uh, end up with here so again this is the external request so it'll take probably a little bit longer and looks like I didn't unserialize the first part <laughs> so fortunately it makes it a little bit harder to read but you'll see right here we have a level called delete me and that is the level that we are looking to delete so if we come down here you'll see it would be this last level here but we don't have any um, delete me level in this array now because we've deleted that level alright so not exactly what I intended but uh, again we can kinda get the point that it did delete that level alright now let's go ahead and take a look at the internal request method so we'll go ahead and we'll uncomment that here again I'm doing the same thing I'm getting a list of levels prior to the deletion so you can see that level in there again that level is named delete me as well uh, here's the level ID we're passing that in here and then we're printing both of those okay so 
um, the the function is WM API delete level and you just pass in the level ID so that's pretty straightforward alright so let's go ahead and head back over here and we'll refresh this and now you can see we have our initial array with the delete me level in it and then when we come down here you can see that now that level uh, is no longer there so uh, it just kind of gives you shows you that uh, you know that array or that level did exist we ran our function and now that level has been deleted okay so pretty straightforward um, you know again for your application there may be different ways that you need to handle that or whatever the case may be but that is how to delete a membership level using the API so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that again if you have any questions or comments definitely let me know in the comments below this video um, also if you head on over to codex.wishlistproducts.com I'll go ahead and come back here to the the tag listing you can see WM API delete level Here's the documentation for this particular function. I'll uh, link to that below this video as well uh, so that you can have access to that um, if you need that. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. If you have suggestions for future videos, things you'd like to know how to do with the API, let me know. And again, hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you next time.